everyone. I'm Josemary from Molecular okay. Cloud. And uh, today we are interviewing iGEM team uh, NCKU Tainan. Do you guys like to introduce yourselves? Sure. No, we are iGEM NCKU Tainan, and we were the grand prize winner last year. And this year, we hope we can get another grand prize. Nice. So uh, can you tell us more about your project with contact lenses that will involve engineered bacteria to lower intraocular pressure? Okay, sure. So basically this year, uh, we are trying to tackle the problem of glaucoma. And uh, basically glaucoma is a cause by uh, a fluid buildup in your eye. And this buildup fluid can damage your optic nerve. So we can, uh, we want to use uh, synthetic biology to produce, uh, sorry, we want to uh, use synthetic biology to engineer our bacteria to release uh, nitric oxide, nitric oxide to re relax the smooth muscle uh, around the eyes and let the build up fluid uh, can flow out. Yeah, outflow. Yeah. So that's basically the mechanisms. And <clears throat> so we have designed a special contact lens that can hold up the bacteria and hopefully you can treat patients. Yeah. Awesome. That sounds uh, really great that, that you're uh, trying to help glaucoma by, uh, by reducing the pressure and uh, the fluid in the eye. What bacteria are you using and uh, how are you modifying them? Uh, this year we're trying to use uh, the BL21D, uh, BL21D3 strands of bacteria because it has uh, T7 RNA polymerase integrated in its chromosome. So we can use those as, uh, 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 the mechanism is like, okay, well, we put IPTG in the contact lens and as uh, IOP increase, the contact lens would deform and squeeze out a bit of a water. And the special, uh, 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 a special chamber inside the contact lens contains the bacteria and IPTG. As water squeeze out, IPTG concentration increase thus resulting a greater amount of protein production. So uh, with more enzyme being produced, we can convert more um, precursors into nitric oxide. Yeah. So Excellent. It, it's like a dynamic releasing drug. Uh, yeah. Awesome, very innovative, very innovative. And uh, what inspired your team to tackle the issues such as glaucoma? Um, originally, uh, we wanted to do something about the eyes in, in our brainstorming part because uh, not very much agent, not not many agent teams tackled with eye problems before. So we we think it's a cool idea to do something about the eye, and we figured and we were like think, thinking about like myopia or other kinds of eye disease, and we finally picked glaucoma. Something, yeah, it's just. Uh, a choice out of a team, yeah. Awesome. And uh, what has been your favorite part of doing research for this project so far? Um, I think joining iGEM is a very good experience of working with uh, a bunch of amazing people. So uh, although we uh, face some difficulties in the experiment part, but I think it's, it's a joy of working with a bunch of brilliant people in the university from different backgrounds. And I think that's the essence of iGen. Yeah. That's very good to hear. So you mentioned that you are creating a chamber within the contact lens where the bacteria will be held. And yes. that's where they would be making the protein. Now, uh, mm. how, is, how has, if at all, uh, COVID affected your research methodology or plan for this project? Uh, actually, uh, uh, we come, we, uh, we're a team from Taiwan and, mm -hmm. uh, COVID-19 hasn't really affect our daily life. Like, uh, it doesn't really affect our daily lives. We, you know, nowadays we don't even wear a mask in, in the campus. So yeah, we can have full access laboratory and, and research funding. Yeah. That's really great to hear. So uh, are you developing the, the actual contact lens in the laboratory? Yes, we are using uh, HEMA as, and we use heat to solid, uh, solidify the, uh, 
the structure and yeah. Very innovative, very innovative. And uh, where would you say you see this project going as far as future developments in industrial or pharmaceutical applications? Uh, basically, we hope this contact lens, it can treat other eye diseases because uh, you, uh, tackling uh, glaucoma is just one of, one of the uses for, for synthetic biology on eye treatment. Because usually for eye treatment, it, it, uh, they, they have to inject something into your eye, which is a very scary process. So. I think uh, ho hoping, hoping that like these kind of uh, engineered bacteria or the contact lens can have impact on other kinds of disease treatment. Awesome. Does anybody in our audience have any questions for the team? Is there anything you would like our audience to know more about your project and your goals? Mark. Goals. Uh, <clears throat> let me think about it. Um, oh, okay. So there's one thing. Okay, we, we've noticed during our research of, uh, of our project and a uh, survey, uh, something like that. So basically, people don't really know about glaucoma. It's like uh, when, when their visual, uh, when their vision. Uh, are impaired or they, they, they have suddenly have a loss of vision. They, they go to the clinics and, they've, and, they, and, and they got diagnosed with glaucoma. But glaucoma is irreversible. So basically you got diagnostic and uh, you, you can only slow down the process. So we are, also we want to raise awareness of uh, uh, the disease glaucoma because not much people are aware of it. And it's the... Great, uh, the, the, the first uh, leading cause of irreversible blindness worldwide, yeah. It's really great that you're trying to bring awareness to that because I myself didn't know that was the leading cause of blindness. So it's, it's a very important and relevant yes. cause. That's really great. Yeah. Are there any struggles that, you, that your team has run into along the way creating this project? Um, uh, yeah, we have faced some difficulties in, in the cloning part, like every iGEM team should have the same experience just like us. Like, we get the G-block from uh, IDP synthesis, but it seems like uh, clone, just by getting those DNA fragments in our bacteria is hard. Like, <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, we face some difficulties in the wet experiment part, and we're trying to figure out new designs and try to... Uh, uh, do a project in a uh, complete our project in a different route. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I definitely hope that uh, working with that methodology does, you know, facilitate itself along the process. Sure. Uh, do, does anybody in our audience have any questions? Well, uh, iGEM and CKU sign on. Uh, are there any, is there anything else Last minute, you'd like to let the audience know? Oh, that's probably all. Uh, and I cannot think of other things to, yeah. All right. Well, I just want to remind everyone that iGEM NCKU Tyne On uh, is in our molecular cloud slash gen script competition for sponsorship for iGEM. So, you know, go out and vote for them and good luck in the competition. Thank you so much for Thank meeting you. with Thank, me today. Thank you so much. Okay, so good much. luck. Take care. Cool. Yeah, take care. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good day. Good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>